The administration of President Muhammadu Buhari completed two years of governance in Nigeria on May 29, 2017. The administration had set several goals for itself and they include the economy, security and the fight against corruption. My guest on this week's edition of the program speaks on how the administration has fared in the last two years. Hello there, welcome to Dateline Abuja, I'm Gloria Umezuki. Aside from the fight against corruption and insurgency, the present administration promised to address unemployment and create a social welfare program for the populace. But how much has the administration fulfilled its promises to the nation? My guest is the special advisor to the president on media. But coming up next. The day marks the second anniversary of our assumption. The acting president, Professor Yemi Oshibajo, in his Democracy Day broadcast, had asked Nigerians to make sacrifices. Take a listen. I am immensely grateful to God. Nigerians had their expectations when President Muhammadu Buhari assumed office as president two years ago. However, the administration has faced several challenges, including an economy in recession. This year's Democracy Day celebration did not come with the usual march past and colorful displays. Instead, the acting president, Professor Yemi Oshibajo, addressed the nation in the absence of the president. After giving an assessment of the administration, Professor Oshibajo listed some of the successes of the administration. We issued three executive orders to make it easier for citizens to get the permits and licenses they require for their businesses, to mandate government agencies to spend more of their budgets on locally produced goods, and to promote budget transparency and efficiency. We also began the hard work of laying out a framework for our social intervention program, the most ambitious in the history of the country. According to the National Bureau of Statistics, Nigeria's gross domestic product contracted by 0.52% in the first quarter of 2017. The inflation rate slumped to 17.24% in April, from the 17.26% recorded in March 2017. These are indications of the poor state of the economy. But the acting president believes steps are being taken to address these challenges. We have been extremely mindful of the many sacrifices that you've had to make over the last few years. And for this reason, this administration's work on the economic front has been targeted at a combination of short-term interventions to cushion the pain, as well as medium to long-term efforts aimed at rebuilding an economy that is no longer helplessly dependent on the price of crude oil. Those short-term interventions include putting together a series of bailout packages for our state governments to enable them bridge their salary shortfalls, an issue that the president has consistently expressed his concerns about. The acting president urged Nigerians to be prepared to make sacrifices as the administration stares the nation out of recession into prosperity. In our interview, Mr. Femi Adeshino speaks on the achievement and challenges of the present administration over the last two years. Mr. Femi Adeshino, you're welcome to the program. My pleasure, thank you. Now, it's been two years since the administration, this present administration, took over office. How successful would you say it has been? Quite. Quite. Particularly if you compare the achievements against the challenges. The challenges, I must tell you, have been enormous, enormous. So if two years down the line, the achievements that have been recorded were recorded, then I would say the administration has been quite successful. In what areas are you referring to? The successes or the challenges? The successes. The successes. Well, there were three main promises made. Secure the country, fight corruption, 
revive the economy. And if you look at those three areas, securing the country, if you compare the country now to how it was in May 2015, it's like comparing heaven and hell. In fact, no basis for comparison. Because as of 2015, you weren't sure what would happen to the country. You had that insurgency which started in 20, 2009 from the northeast, which had virtually covered the country. And, and abated in 2015? Abated temporarily. That one was just a retreat. A retreat. I'm sure you are talking of the two weeks. Uh, the election was postponed for six weeks. Uh, it was to hold in February 14. It eventually held in March 28. I think for about six weeks. It was a temporary retreat. You know that the nature of these insurgency is that you see a lull at times. That was the lull we saw because there was a concentration of attack on them. But then the question is, if that concentration could have come in that six weeks, why didn't it come earlier? If not that some people played politics with the entire insurgency. But now we know that there is a wide difference between what subsisted in 2015 and what happens now. That is, that is one phase of security. There are other phases. You can talk of herdsmen and farmers. You can talk of uh, kidnapping. You can talk of armed robbery. All those challenges are there. But one thing is that this is a country that has capacity oh. to confront challenges, security challenges particularly. So just as the insurgency has been tackled and is and it's been degraded, it's back broken. There are still pockets of attacks here and there, but there's no doubt that this thing is virtually defeated. The same will happen with husband farmers clashes. You had the acting president in his broadcast on Monday tasking the security agencies to find a solution to that problem. I tell you the solution will come. In the not to the state. But we have heard that even the president say the same thing yes, two he years did. ago. He did. Two years? No, no, not two there years. There was a promise by the, the government to no. fish out these perpetrators, fish no, out the, um, the, that the was, terrorists. The, the, oh, that was terrorists, not the herdsmen. I'm talking okay. about the herdsmen okay. now. The acting president said on Monday that a solution will be found to the herdsmen 